up, I'm Emma. Hello, I'm Katie. And today is day 25 of our Fit for Festivities Challenge. And today we are going to bring you a resistance band workout. If you are joining us for the very first time, how dare you? <laughs> Where have you got been? Me? We've got a whole range of videos that you could have done before now. So if you enjoy this one, have a look in the description for this video. You will find the link there to take you back to day one and you can follow through the whole uh, Fit for Festivities plan. It's a good one. Right, so today we are going to do 45 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds rest for each of the exercises. We've got six different movements and then we will repeat them through. So 12 exercises in total. If you are um, fortunate enough to have a selection of bands, um, then we are going to do some exercises with a long one like this and some with a loopy one. But if you're just working with one band, the first three exercises it's not in a, in a loop and then the next three you will need to tie it into a, into a circle like so. Okay, so the first exercise you want to just spread the band out on your mat or on the floor and you're going to lay on top of it and we're going to do a diamond press. So I shall set the time. Oh, yeah. Katie's got hers like that. Fly on it. Okay, so you're going to um, keep your upper arms on the floor and tucked in fairly close by your side. And then with your hands together, holding onto your band, you're going to extend your arms straight up above your chest. Okay. Right, here we go. Off we go. So if you need more tension, in your band, then just hold it lower down and don't hold it right at the end of the band. That's the beauty of the band, isn't it? Yeah, you can't do that with any other way. No, it means you really only need one because it's quite easy to alter the tension, isn't it? I mean, yeah. often these you do buy them in a pack where you have various resistances, but actually, if you only have one, you just hold it in different positions, yeah. don't you? So it's straightening those arms up straight above your chest and trying to control your arms on the way back down. So working against the resistance again on the way down. Perfect, okay, so that's exercise one. Now we're going to stand up and you're gonna do um, lat pull downs but with alternate arms. So both your arms are going to start up in the air. You're gonna leave one arm straight and you're going to pull the other one down towards your side in an arc. Again, you can alter the resistance by how close together your hands are. The closer they are on the band at the top, the harder it's going to be. So one arm stays up and the other arm pulls down in an arc to the side of your body. Well done, keep that going. 20 seconds left of these. Keep a little bit of a soft bend in your knees rather than locking your knees out with any of the standing positions. Three, two, one. Fabulous. Okay, the last exercise when you band out like this for the first round is a bicep curl. So stand on your band in the middle. You can use two feet if you want to make it tighter or just one foot. Lock your elbows in nice and close to the side of your body. And then when the bell goes, we're just going to start, okay, to draw your fists up towards your shoulders. Your upper arm doesn't want to move too much. You're going to try and keep that by your sides. And you're just curling your lower arm up towards your shoulders. Ooh. I'm right on the edge of my band. Here. Yeah, you've got a slightly tighter one than me, haven't you? And this feels quite hard, but this one, Grip as well. Yeah, don't go. <laughs> <Twine> yourself. <laughs> 10 seconds of this. Keep going if you can. Take a pause if you need to and then join in again. Four, three, two, one. Fabulous. If you need to uh, knock your band, you're going to do that now. If you're lucky and you've got one of these little ones as well, we're just going to step into that. And you want it um, on your thighs. We're going to lay sideways out for this one. Yep. <clears throat> so coming down on your back, you're going to do a bridge. And then at the top of the bridge, you're going to squeeze your thighs open, close, and then lower your bottom down. So push your hips up, open, close, 
So your glutes are getting a really good workout. You're gonna squeeze your glutes tight as you get to the top of the bridge position. And then you're gonna target the outside of your glutes by opening your knees at the top of the move. Squeeze them up. And then this is gonna be followed by those side clams. So it's a proper double whammy for your bum, this bit. <laughs> It's a booty burner. It's a booty burner. Speaking of which, have we not got one of those coming up? Yes. Oh, a whole workout. Well, strangely enough, that's actually tomorrow. <laughs> so we're really going to make your bum work. Right, so oh, this one, burner. you're going to lay on your side and slot the looped band over your knees. And then you are going to... Right, put that wrong. Oh, yeah, you have to take it off and tuck it over. That's it. Okay, rest on your forearm, try and keep your hips sat directly on top of one another. So what you don't want to do is roll your top hip back. Your hips stay on top of each other and you just literally lift your knees, oh, your top knee away from your bottom knee. You feel this massively into the outside of your glute here. Just trying to escape. Yeah. Shiny leggings. Shiny leggings. Yeah. yeah. Let's get this tied for the next round. Okay. No, you need it straight. Oh no, you can do the other leg yeah. out, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So Not so bad that one. <laughs> cheeky monkey, cheeky monkey. She's skipping it. She's skipping it. <laughs> side, other knees stepped on top, and then you're just lifting that knee away from your bottom knee. Twenty more seconds of this, if you can stand it. <laughs> Bicep curl. So 
stand on your band either with one foot or with two feet, depending on how elasticated your band is. Elbows are tucked in at your sides. And you're just going to draw your hands up towards your shoulders.